Hi guys, I was watching a video a few days ago by Just For Fun where he was making a flashing LED or making an LED flash using the parts from an old quartz clock and that reminded me that I'd been doing some work with old clock parts so I've had to dig through my stock and found this box which is remarkably tidy for me uh, I won't move the camera or you can see all the junk on the desk at the moment I think what happens I had quite a few clocks that weren't working and I managed to get some to work and these are the bits that were left over it's like uh, yeah um, what I actually want out of here is I want that coil can you see that? there's a coil in there and there's a circuit board in there so I'm not too worried about all the gears the circuit board. I think the power goes in there. Those two tags. I think that's for the alarm because that's a little speaker there isn't that? That's the crystal for the timing and the circuit is in that little blue blob. That's the coil that I want. And that little bit in there that happens to be in there, that's a magnet. Which, when you put current through the coil, it causes that to turn a little bit. Because it aligns itself with the magnetic field. The gear on it's on a bit of a ratchet thing, so when the current switched off it can't go back the other way and when it's switched on again it sort of well it goes round it, it ticks or it, yeah, it steps round yeah it's a stepper motor I suppose you could call it <laughs> yeah uh, that bit turned round anyway so uh, actually I might use that that wasn't what I was thinking of doing I was thinking of just making a little swinging magnet like one of those solar rockers but just one that steps one, once every second because I think that's what this does I think it the current flows through there once every second I may be wrong it may be faster than that just bit of metal work in there Right, well, that'll be for the battery, which goes there. Push down, yeah, push down on there. So, in there. So, yeah, that looks like that fits, those little plastic bits. Does that go over there? I don't know. What does it just rest like that? I reckon that, that is the alarm setting, I think. Ah, right, those two little holes there would have gone on those two posts there. I don't know if I can see that. There's my pointy stick. Two little plastic posts there, and I reckon that, those two holes would go over it, but I don't know if that went there or not. I'm not trying to rebuild this, so that really doesn't matter. I think that went over there, then that piece there would have made contact there. So I expect 
that would go round and round and at some point or other it would be released and allowed to go down and make contact on there because that arc goes there where's the other piece that piece yeah see it's I don't know if the camera picks up this little sort of fork on the end there which is going to go on there to make contact so they don't actually have to do any soldering although we'll have to do some soldering obviously because that coil is not connected to anything at the moment is that going to slide in there? it's got to go in there So we're sort of reassembling this because I can put a battery in there then. And then that's going to go, as I say, into those little forks. Somehow. It doesn't feel like it wants to go in there. Oh, yep, yeah, there we are. So that's in there. I don't think we need that piece. That's just going to confuse things. That would have gone across there and made contact there. I expect there's a cam that goes on there that lifts that out of the way. Right, we want to try and solder this back on. I just think I took this off to try it out on something else. Warm. Yeah, so I usually get to this point and find I haven't switched it on. So these are such fine wires, I really can't see what I'm doing. Come on. Gripped okay. I can see the ends of these are actually tin, they've got a bit of solder on them already. So I must have used this for something. Okay, that's on, on there. Yes, soldering iron out of the way. Uh, what should I do with that little magnetic bit? That little magnet. Don't know if we'll be able to see this. Uh, if I put that there, oh, battery. Battery would be handy. Yeah, one on the table. Uh, yeah, that way around. Push that down on there. Have we got any power? Because I don't actually know whether this one works. Nothing much happening there. I'm making good connection. Have we got a good battery? Oh, I've knocked it all out. Push that back in there. pillar that's supposed to have gone behind and it's slipped out so it jumped up. There. 
Making good contact. Better check that's good battery, I suppose. All I'm expecting to happen is that to move a little bit. Uh, right, can you see it jumping? It was moving. Have to move the camera a bit closer, I think, just so we can see it actually moving. see it jumping. What I think I might do is put a bit of cotton on it and swing it above it. Right, let's see what we can do. A bit of cotton, a blue tack, That's just so we can see how it works. So, battery power, circuit board in that little blue blob, uh, crystal there to give us timing, power comes out on these little wires, goes through the coil, I say power, a pulse of power comes out, that creates a magnetic field. And that causes that little magnet to try and orientate itself to the magnetic field. So it's just ticking away now. Which would normally be turning the hands round. I say just for fun. He rigged this up so it was actually pulsing an LED 
because it's only one and a half volts there. He had an extra battery in to bring it up to three volts for the LED to light. That'll do. Well, I said that'll do, but that was just getting it back together so I could see if it worked. I will do something else with this. I might just try making the LED flash like he did, because I liked that simplicity of just putting a extra battery in this circuit, part of the circuit here, in between the coil and the uh, circuit board. Just realised I'd put everything away and I hadn't demonstrated the alarm. So we can see the magnet ticking OK. So if I reach over here and connect my pliers across there So that, that's what that bit would be doing, along with some sort of a cam that just allows it to go down at the right time. I just thought I'd better add that in so we didn't forget about it. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.